How's it going, everyone? So, this is a game called Subnautica. It's kind of a uh, survival exploration underwater game. And uh, I figured it released recently, just a, uh, this is last week here, I think. And uh, I got it the day after it released. I put 16 hours into it so far. And uh, I thought it's been uh, pretty interesting, so I thought I'd share it. I am, note those 16 hours along. So um, if you don't want to be spoiled, on like what kind of vehicles you can get, what kind of tools you can get, um, I'd stop watching. I'm not gonna give away any like story parts or anything like that, but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna kind of show you what I've done, show you some interesting stuff, and uh, go from there. So yeah, so this is Subnautica, everyone. Uh, we got a little knife here, it's cool. But yeah, the main thing is that we're all underwater. This is my base. An underwater sea lab type thing. We can actually swim to the, uh, the top of the uh, surface of the water here. And we kind of jump out when we do that when we surface. So the plot of the game is that you uh, you crash land on this planet. This is your your crew's spaceship. You're just like some random peon. I don't know what your actual position is. And you come up in that life pod over there. Um, from there, you have almost nothing. You have like nothing that you can use to survive. You have some limited rations. So you gotta go and explore. And so to do that, you basically just need to uh, look around, face himself. What the fuck is this over here? What, what are you? Oh, it's one of those fucking rocks that these floaters grab onto. But yeah, there's, uh, there's alien life around. These things like to bite onto surfaces and they float. So it's pretty cool. I can just pick one up here. Have a floater here now. If I drop it again, it's going to float to the surface. It's going to bob up and down. There we go. Get enough on something, it can just pull right to the surface, which is kind of interesting. But yeah, there's uh, there's huge critters like this over here. These guys are friendly. They're uh, they're called reef backs. And uh, on top of them, they just have a bunch of uh, stuff. Like there's this brain coral stuff, which provides oxygen, which is pretty neat. If you just hover over it, there's a bunch of other stuff, and uh, one of the key things on the reef backs is that they sometimes have barnacle type things, which you can crack open and get like resources from, like uh, right over there actually, I think that's one? No? Of course they don't have any. Anyway, there are sometimes, oh right here, yeah, so this uh, little barnacle here, if I break it open, it'll release a uh, piece of copper, or some other random resource. There's also this uh, cradle here, which we can actually cut, I think. Not sure what I can do with it. It's just a just a seed. I can actually farm some stuff and all that, but I also got a sea glide, which is what I'm using right here. It uh, lets you go faster underwater. If I didn't have this, I'm trying to get the fucking map part of it to go away. I hate it because it's like blocks my vision. I don't want the light part. There we go. No, no, we got the light. It makes you go faster. If I didn't have it, I'd be going like this fast, which, granted, is not too slow, but I have some upgraded fins that help me go faster. So that's nice. But yeah, my, my base is uh, all this stuff here. Pretty much empty except for the bottom one here that has a, uh, a bioreactor in it. This stuff is my main storage and production plant. These are some bays for you to put your uh, vehicles in. Like this one here. Pretty cool. Welcome Climb up the ladder. Captain. Back inside of it. So this is a, uh, a sea moth. It's a basic, very basic transportation. Um, it's got some storage on the other side if we go around here. You can kind of see it's got a uh, storage here, storage here. If we hop into it, it'll release us. We can go driving around. Yeah. It's a very basic, like, small one-person sub type thing. A mini sub, if you would. I got a depth upgrade on it so I can go down deeper, otherwise it limits out at like 300 for depth, 300 meters. But yeah, all of it takes power and whatnot, which you gotta maintain and all that good stuff. But if we go back here, I'll just go ahead and spin around and rise back up, and it'll just clap me back up, eject me out, and bam. Yeah. You can um, do a lot of different things with this for upgrade-wise. I have a, a depth upgrade, for example, and some storage upgrades just so I can carry more stuff on it. But if we go over to here, we can, uh, for the CMOF, we have depth modules, we have solar chargers, so when you, it's daylight out and you're close to the surface, it'll charge your battery. 
Um, there's defenses, which you can like do a kind of a shock thing with. There's a torpedo system. There's also a, a sonar, and then uh, that's, that's pretty cool. But yeah, there's also uh, generic common modules like uh, hull reinforcement, engine efficiency, that kind of stuff. Uh, but if you get one of these things, you can actually change like the name and color of your vessel, which is mine is the Australia Mark II. No, the two, because the first one died. It was... It was bad. I got grabbed by a very big thing, and it destroyed my vehicle, and I managed... Barely managed to escape my life. But yeah, these are little things here, reinforcements. They reinforce the outer side of my uh, base so I don't die from uh, being pressurized and whatnot. And hull integrity is actually a big thing here. These are my uh, filtration systems. They produce water and salt from the uh, water outside. Uh, just filtration, fill up these bottles, I can take them. I got four of them so I don't have to worry about harvesting stuff. This is my uh, little bed. You can actually sleep and pass time, which is kind of neat. I'm not sure how much time it passes or whatnot, but it doesn't matter. All this stuff's just de decorative. I can pick it up, I can sit down in this chair, but it doesn't serve any real function or anything. Um, going down another level, we have my storage area, and this place which uh, I have not done much with. I kind of just set it down so I could plant these before they uh, spoiled, because spoiling of food is something you actually got to worry about in here, so... I just wanted to plop it down quick before it uh, died on me. But yeah, all these have different resources in them. You can see I labeled them gold, silver, copper, you can name them whatever you want. These are just larger storage lockers that you can't name, but you can put labels on later. Um, got some power cell chargers. These are currently charging batteries that are used in uh, all the tools you have, such as the uh, the Sea Glide and all the other stuff I have down here. I'm also carrying a large amount of titanium on me, which is crazy. Also some posters that I looted from the uh, the wreckage over there. And this is the scanner room. The scanner room allows you to scan for various resources. It's basically just stuff that's local to your area. Pretty much um, anything in the range of the sensors is what's listed here. For example, if um, I were to loot all of the uh, metal salvage, there would not be listed metal salvage. Which I've actually seen because I had like copper listed here once, like that for example. And then, after I grabbed all the copper, it disappeared from the list. You can also put it in different areas. You can put these things in different areas to uh, actually scan different areas of the map, which is neat. So yeah, it kind of gives you this little hollow map. You actually start scanning something, which let's go ahead and just scan for this data box. Why not? You can kind of see a little blip appears there. And it's kind of just like, woo, 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 woo. This is the entire range of the area that I got here. And the map is much bigger than just that, too. So there's one over here, one over here. And if I look, we have one there and one over there. Because I have a uh, HUD module in my... Uh, suit that lets me see that stuff, so... Anyway, if we, um... How do I get back up there? I think if we go up, and then up... Yeah, so my bioreactor's over here. It takes organic matter. Um, in this case, I'm using mushrooms to power it. Uh, you can use pretty much anything that's organic to make it. Uh, to power it, whatnot. My plan is, is I'm gonna have quite a few bioreactors to power this shit. It's gonna be one up here, and I'm gonna keep going up and up and up, so... Uh, what you just saw here was me creating a ladder. So I'll go ahead and show you how that's done. So this is your fabrication tool thing right here. Right click, brings this up. This is all the stuff that I've gotten. You don't start with all this. You have to find it and research a little bit of it. You kind of point where you want it. Hold the left mouse. As long as you got the resources, it'll create. Blop, blop. There we go. So I can go up to the next level. The next level is the same thing. Haven't done much with it. We can keep doing that. There's that one. We go up. Oh yeah. Let's say we uh, we put one in the wrong position. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. Crap. Am I am I out those two titanium that it used? No. So what you can do, which is like, well, I love the level on this game. This game is great in the fact that uh, base building is quite easy. Um, you just hold Q to deconstruct it. And it refunds you every single resource you put into it. Which is great. Because nothing sucks more than when you like accidentally put something down. Or you want to expand your base, but in order to do that you have to like destroy a wall or something. In games like this. And you don't get the resources back. It sucks. I don't like it. 
I think this is the top floor here, if I remember correctly. Yep, top floor. Well, anyway, I've been kind of expanding my base a little bit here. I think I can, I can... Do I have enough for... No, I don't have enough for a hatch to put on the wall there. So, yeah. Eventually, I want to have this entire stack here filled with bioreactors. So, that's my plan, anyway. Damn it. There we go. There's so many ladders. All right. But yeah, so if we go back outside, we can uh, take a look here. Also, I've got uh, two of these dens here, because I have uh, another vehicle that can actually fit in one of them. And that's fine. But there's also an area for you to grow stuff. I'm growing some shrooms, like I said. These create hydrochloric acid, these create batteries. Or they just power stuff, if you throw in a bioreactor. Got some uh, vines here, got some uh, blood oil here, which I haven't used much of yet. I just kind of planted it because I had it, and it's actually used for stuff. But yeah, we also got uh, solar panels to get that lovely, lovely little energy when we uh, run out, or when it's daylight out and whatnot. So this is my expansion. What I wanted to do is I wanted to place over here, because originally this is where I had my base, because down there there was some uh, sharks. And, uh... Yeah, that's right, swim away. Had to get resources before I could build down there where it was open at. And, uh, so I kind of responded back up here. Eventually, I want to just have crawling bases all over the place, so I don't even have to get out of the uh, the water, or I don't I don't have to go into the water. I can just stay out. But yeah, so pretty pretty chill so far, right? We just seen some fish going around swimming. Well, let's go down here a little bit. Many little shits. I know you're here. Are you sleeping? Maybe they all left. Maybe my sub scared the shit out of them, and they're like, nope, I'm out. Hmm. So, there's supposed to be... Sharks down there. This is the last one. He's a violent creature. He'll try to kill you. Come on. Anyone want Anyone want a piece? Of course, when I try to... When I actually try to look for you assholes, you're like, nah. I'm just gonna... Sit here. Anyway, there's sand sharks. Um, they kind of just lie in the sand and wait for you to go to them. Which are... It's a huge asshole move. Bye bye. Anyway, uh, going back to just explaining some stuff. This is a submarine. Very, uh... High-tech. You need, like, a bunch of stuff to actually make it. Which kind of sucks, but, uh, we can go ahead and go in it. And uh, it's got some storage lockers here, which are actually full. I need to uh, jump it out. And this is a prawn suit, which is currently docked inside the submarine. We'll show that off later. I named it uh, Jura after my character, who's a tank, because it's a fucking beast. And the submarine is called Saren after my slime girl. So if we uh, go up this ladder, we can see the engine of it. Badass engine. There's also upgrades we can make here. Shield generator, engine efficiency, depth modules, sonar, fire suppression... And, uh, decoy tubes. Which, uh, if we need to fire a decoy or something to chase, we can load them in here, fire them off. It's pretty cool. We'll go ahead and just close these bulkheads here quick. We can also uh, interface with the, uh, the Jura Mark I here, because it hasn't died yet. We can interact with its, uh, modules, which I have a, a drill arm. I have a storage module here. I got some storage over here as well, which is nice. And I, uh, you're actually able to build inside the sub. Only certain things, though. Um, so I built some more storage lockers here, just to, you know, have some extra stuff. There's more storage lockers here, and I got some supplies. Medical supplies, fire suppression, because your engine can catch fire if you overheat it. I got some, uh, food. I actually need to restock with water. I also got a grab trap, and these, uh, kind of attract materials and fish, small objects, towards it. Which is pretty cool. I can actually show you that here. Let's go ahead and just, uh... I'm just gonna reload. Reload. I'm gonna load this up here real quick, just so my inventory is mostly empty. Okay, was that again? Yeah, this is the sub. Pretty, pretty great. It shows you a kind of outline. Once you take damage, it'll show you where you took damage at, so you can go out and repair it. Um, I can turn the lights off, which is what we'll do. And then if you look here, you can press the load button. Lights go on. Yeah. It's also got a constant sonar running of, uh, violent creatures that want to attack you. It's also got a horn. <laughs> anyway, it's also got outer cameras. So you can kind of see around you a lot easier. 
Um, go ahead and turn the light on or off, dim it a little bit, you know, that kind of stuff. We can also switch cameras. This one I believe is on the uh, the back end. Hello. And then we got another one. Oops. Another one, which is on the top. Kind of uh, chilling here. So. Yeah, it's got kind of a good amount of, you know, visibility for all the cameras. We can just uh, exit out of that. There's also a silent running mode, which puts a lot of strain on the engine to uh, run silently, but it's good for, like, running away and that kind of stuff. Anyway, we'll go ahead and turn the engine on. Engine powering up. Takes a moment. Then we can choose how fast we want to go. So we're going to go slow first. Because it uh, uses more energy if you go faster. Also overheats your energy, or your engines if you do the uh, fastest one. And uh, it'll actually damage your vehicle if you do it for too long. Fires will break out inside of it. Thus the uh, fire suppression system. But yeah, I can just uh, go through this kelp. It's, it's called creeping vines, but you know it's kelp, whatever. There's a uh, downed life pod there. Oh, did I not get this one before? Hold on. Engine off. Engine powering down. So, so pretty peaceful so far, right? I haven't been bothered too much, but keep in mind I'm 16 hours into the game here. So uh, that's a shark. Fuck you. Fuck you. It doesn't do too much damage if it actually bites you. I can actually let him. Just kind of show you. I'm just gonna just fuck off. Anyway, those things drop teeth when they attack metal stuff. Which is uh, good to uh, make, like, higher-end material with, which is weird. Oh, it's showing me a dead data box. That's that's great. Okay. I was wondering why. I figured I already got that one. Hmm. Anyway. Yeah, so these sharks, they'll, uh, they'll create nests out of... See, didn't do much damage. See the health icon on the uh, left there? There's also uh, a hunger and a water symbol for uh, thirst and all that. So anyway, let's go ahead and go back home quick. I'm not gonna show you any of the, the life pods over there because that's kind of spoilerish, I guess. This one we just kind of stumbled on, but that's fine. So, engine's on. We'll go at a uh, standard speed now. The so space bar rises up. We can actually go out a little bit here, but the sub doesn't like to stay too far up. None of the vehicles like to stay above the water except for the, uh, the prawn suit. You can actually go up on top of stuff. Yeah, so as you can see, switching between the, uh, the bottom bar here is your sound. So switching between these does matter for your sound. Um, if you do need to escape, you'll want to hit that fucking hard one. <laughs> the, the super speed one. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get some food and some water here quick. And also, if I, uh, if I get too close to a structure with this sub... No? You're not, you're not gonna... Okay, let me get a little bit closer over here then. There we go. So if you get too close, it'll pop up a warning. It'll flash kind of where you're too close to something at. Which is really nice, because you can't really see a lot behind this thing when you're doing stuff, you know? Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and uh, turn this off. I'll leave the engine running, because we're gonna come right back into it here in a moment. I just need to grab some, uh, some water and some food here. And turn off the scanner so it doesn't eat up all my power. Uh oh. I have my whole integrity, what the hell? Did the ladders fuck up my whole integrity? What is this shit? God damn it. Okay, hold on. Emergency, emergency, emergency! Where's my. Fuck, we're taking on water! Taking on water! Ah oh, shit! Hold on, I need to get my titanium out of the fucking sub. Oh god. So like I said, hull integrity matters a whole lot, because if you fuck something up, that happens. So, grab this. That was lithium, not titanium, by the way. Anyway. Oh god, we're just fucking taking on water like a boss now, okay. Let's, um, we're gonna add a reinforcement here. What the fuck happened? Did me hitting the fucking thing do this? We need to go outside. I can't see where we're taking on water at. This is one problem with having a huge base. I don't know where the fuck we're taking on... Fuck off, you motherfucker! I don't know where we're taking on water at. Where are 
we taking on water? Oh, bitch. Oh, this sucks. Okay. Oh, this is bad. Where are we taking on water? So I guess this is kind of an unsuspected surprise here. I can actually show you guys what happens when you take on water. Um, yeah, so basically we just gotta find the leaks, fix them, and then, uh, oh, what, this is already flooded? What the fuck? Which means something higher up is starting to flood first. What the fuck? This, this, there we go, okay, God damn it. Did I somehow hit it with the fucking sub and cause this damage? Holy there we go. <laughs> so once your whole integrity gets restored, it's going to uh, start draining. Which is good. I don't know what the fuck happened. What the hell? But yeah, this is why it's important to have good hull integrity or else you're gonna take on damage. Like it's nobody's business here and that's... Uh, not too good. Gonna reinforce this hole here. Power restored. All primary systems online. Fuck. That was that was bad. Okay. Anyway, we need to uh, get some food and water. Like we originally had planned on doing. I'll go ahead and just uh, empty these out since we're doing this. So yeah, these produce salt and uh, water, which is nice. You can use salt to cure fish, which makes them hold longer. Get the fuck out of here, water. No one likes you. I'm gonna go ahead and take these batteries. Put them in here. Actually, give me one of those, actually, real quick. I need to switch this battery out, because I only got 22% power left. I want to get that low with this thing, so we'll go ahead and just put that back in here to charge it up. I'm gonna go in here with my food water tank. Go ahead and just put the uh, the water in here. Drink some of it. I'm gonna take some of this out. Some of that. Vital Eating cured fish though, it uh makes you thirsty because it's all salty. Because you use salt to cure it. Unfortunate thing, but uh, I just got I got materials everywhere because I need to expand my storage. Because once I got the prawn suit, I just started going ham on wrist, like grabbing stuff. It was crazy. So yeah. Um, well, while we're outside, I guess let's go ahead and just show off our uh, gravity thing here. Why is it so bright right there? What the fuck? Oh, right. That. I'm, I'm smart, I swear. So yeah, if we throw this right here, it's going to just hover there and do this. See all the little fish that are getting stuck in it? Now, if you do it in a higher populated area with more fish, you can uh, catch them, so. Gonna go ahead and grab this fish here. And then the boomerang fish right here. Come here, there we go. So yeah, these fish you can use to uh, cure, or you can also use them to, uh, um, fuck, what am I gonna say here? You can use them as fuel for the bioreactor. Yeah. I'm actually gonna go ahead and cook these fish real quick. So I can eat them and get my hunger full. I'm not gonna cure them, just, you know, just cook them. That way I get some hydration from them as well. Which is always nice. Okay. Go ahead and eat that. And eat that one. Perfect. All right, now, we can go ahead and go out with the sub here. Yeah, I, I, I hit it, I did hit it. Fuck my life. That was my problem. I guess that's the thing with the uh, the Cyclops. It's not gonna warn you when you hit something that you're base related. It's just gonna be like, what? I don't know what's going on. You, you can't tell me. I'm gonna take this first aid kit and use it real quick too. All right, so let's gain some altitude. And um, hmm. Well, let's go over here. I can kind of show you some of the diversity of the uh, the biomes here. So, 97%, perfect. Okay, we got some, uh, some grassy plateaus. We got, uh, 
some floating rock things because the floaters are sucking on. Go further out. So it gets from like shallow ass water to like really deep water. It gets even deeper. Like you can get a thousand meters under and keep going. It's it's crazy. But here's uh some mushroom forests. Forests using quotation marks. But uh I'm just gonna go down to slow. So we can go through here. It's gonna be a little bit chaotic to go that low, so we're gonna gain some altitude. What's that pink thing again? Oh, it's just the, the rack. Right, so let's speed back up. If I can show you this. So with the uh, the uh, the big ship we came in on called the Aurora, with it having crashed, chunks of it just rained down all over the planet. So you can find giant, like, destroyed hull pieces over here. And sometimes they'll have materials in them that you can um, harvest and use. Research is good for it. You kind of do that. and. Basically, the story of this game, I'm not going to tell you what it is. It's just you crash down and you start exploring. There's no real, like, objective after that. It's just survive. But as things start going, you start learning things. And you try to find your um, crewmates and all that kind of stuff. Um, so you're trying to find their escape pods, which we found a couple. Or we saw one and it was, you know, destroyed. But yeah, it's just kind of... Uh, Interesting. So yeah, we got these mushroom fields here. Over here we have... Oh crap. I keep hitting fucking shit. Come on. We have... Uh, these are the blood vines. They're just larger versions of the blood vines. We're gonna keep going this way though. Hopefully see some spooky stuff. So that's an electric eel. Pretty big. Um, it's smaller than the cyclops. It will attack you. If you get close to it. I'm actually going to spin around here real quick and lower down. So like, as you can see here, that's that on the map. Go ahead and hop out of that so we can just get a, a better look. There it goes. It's going down. Hi, bud. Okay. I'm also completely unarmed in here. I just want to point out, there's also these floating islands, which are interesting, because there's those, uh, those big things there, those luminescent ones, those are giant-ass floaters. Remember those little things I picked up in the beginning? Yeah, those are these huge-ass ones. So, they're just called ancient floaters, they've been alive for a long time. That. That, 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 that. That. Is that a ghost reaper? I don't know what the fuck it's called. I've never fought, or not fought one. I've never had one attack me. I've just um, seen them and stayed the fuck away. Uh, speaking of, shit. Yeah, giant fucking thing. Bigger than the submarine. Crazy shit. I don't want to get close to that thing, but we're gonna leave. And uh, let's actually surface. I want to see if I can find that other monster that destroyed my, uh, my first Straya. The little sub-submarine here. But yeah, this is like a, the, the dark corner of the sea. There's other places around here too. There's also land that you can get onto and whatnot. And I'm pretty sure you can build your bases really anywhere. Um, there's a little, uh, I think it's Rock Shark. It will try to kill you if you get out. Harasses you. They don't do too much damage, but they're kind of annoying. But yeah, so there's a lot of stuff here. There's also three different game modes when you start the game. You can play creative, which I'm assuming it just lets you uh, do whatever you want. You don't have to worry about resources, food, water, that kind of stuff. You can just kind of build. There's standard, which Standard lets you um, just play the game, not have to worry about your stuff here. And then there's Hardcore, which I'm playing, which if you die once, you pretty much die permanently. You, you have to start all over again, essentially is what it is. And uh, 
after that, uh, I think it also is it's supposed to not warm you when you're low on inner when you're low on oxygen. We actually have to monitor it. Which is why I was like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll do that. That seems more immersive than being constantly told, hey, you're running low on energy. But for some reason, I'm still getting told, like, you have 30 seconds of energy or oxygen left. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. But yeah, so it's currently night. So. Actually, I want to wait till it's day out before we go here. Oh, fuck. Raise up, raise up, raise up. Okay. Shit. Uh, let's let's take a nap quick. Engine powering down. Take a good old nap in my Betty Bye over here. Then we'll uh, go look for the other monster. I just don't want to. Uh, I just don't want to catch it at night because it's terrifying enough during the day. So I see a fucking night. I'm just gonna just my fucking pants, man. Okay. And we sleep. What I need to do is get a reliable food source going. Power restored. All prime Which is what the garden out here is for. It's supposed to be eventually I can get a food source going, but uh, no luck so far. So yeah, it's beautiful. Stop. And uh, beautiful, beautiful game. I just feel like, uh, at times, during it, I was like, I have no idea where the fuck any of this stuff's at. How the hell am I supposed to do this? When I was looking for, um, certain materials to make things. I was like, I've never seen this material before, how the fuck do I find this? So I actually, um, ended up looking up a lot of stuff. Also, that little, the pipe thing you see there, that's a, uh, an air tube that goes all the way down into that cave. They're very cheap to make, they're only like a few titanium. And titanium's a very, very common resource, so... Yeah, but we're gonna get into the shallows here. This is kind of where you spawn. We're just gonna be going past the uh, the life pod here. Let you start in. And uh, this area is called the safe, the safe shallows. Because it's safe. No, Nothing's gonna kill you here. There's uh, plenty of fish that you can turn into food. The 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 only thing that might, might kill you is those things right there. But they're peaceful, they just kind of release a toxic gas if you get next to them. Because they, uh, are scared of you, you know? So yeah, I mean, as long as you don't mess with them, they're fine. But then, uh, once you start getting out here further... Is when stuff starts getting, like, deadly. Like, once you start hitting the, uh, the, the creep vine fields... You get these sharks, and all that kind of stuff. Further out, you start getting sand sharks, and other shark-like things that'll fuck your day up. What the fuck was that? Did a fish just run into my fucking hole? Or am I hitting stuff? I'm probably hitting stuff. You see some more wreckage out here. How close are we to the Aurora? Oh, we're actually gonna run into it if we keep going this course. Adjust course. Heading over this way. Perfect. Yeah, the shallows are kind of risky to take the sub through because you'll eventually start getting hit on stuff, but uh... So I've seen this creature probably three times. Once, like twice over here, and then once way over that way. Um, there's more than one of them. And it's terrifying. And, uh, it is not cool. Fuck, this, this area is so dark and, like, shitty. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it! Okay. Let's see if we can find it. I don't know if it shows up on radar. That's the thing here. It's very, very hostile. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! No! 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 Get the fuck away from my sub, you son of a bitch! That's it. That's the thing that fucking killed my Australia before. Oh god. Oh shit, we're taking on water. Get the fuck out of here. Let's go. Nope. 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 That is called a Reaper Leviathan. It, uh... It likes to fucking kill you. Is what it likes to do. Luckily, they're very, uh, territorial. So as long as you're not, like... 
out there. Uh, what? No, turn that off. As long as they're not, um, they don't follow you further than where they're actually living. So out that way, they'll stay and fuck you up. But uh, we need to go outside and fix that damage. Since we're in the safer kelp fields now. Oh my god, as soon as I fucking saw that goddamn blip on the map, I was like, no. Fuck that. Um, also, if you if you saw the uh, little diagram of the ship, the projection here, it tells you where the damage is to your hull with a little light. Um, if you didn't see it, just rewind a little bit here. When I like, kind of moved over the ship's hull here, it'll actually show you where I took damage at. But yeah, so let's go ahead and go back in the Cyclops. Yeah, that thing grabbed my fucking little ship. Twice. Once while I was just kind of exploring in that area. The second one was when uh, I was trying to get away from it after grabbing the first time. And that was uh, just, just terrifying. So let's go here next. I just kind of want to show you some of the cool biomes and all that kind of stuff. This one we can't just take the sub into. It's kind of a dark hole. I got little beacons, kind of waypoint stuff. Do 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 do. Let's go ahead and just and in fact, emergency, emergency speed. speed warning. Vessel calculated excessive noise. That is and we'll go ahead and lower our speed again here. All right, where was it at? Am I over it? I'm almost over it. Okay. There's a lot to do in the game. Although, I've explored quite a bit of it, and I feel like uh, I'm getting close to the end. The end of where uh, the story goes. So, I also just kind of give no shits when it comes to exploring. I just kind of go wherever the fuck I want without a uh, care whether or not I'm going to get eaten. Alive by a fucking giant monster that wants to kill me. I think right, yep, right here. Here's the entrance. So if we go a little further down. I just hit a fish. God damn it. Hold. Up, 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 up. There we go. Don't want to hit the fucking ground there. All right. Engine off. There we go. I can just probably turn this on or off from here, right? Did I do anything? No? I probably didn't hit it right. Anyway. Go ahead and hop out there. I do want to show you guys the prawn suit at some point, but not not right now. So uh, down here, we kind of get into this little cave. And there's caves all over the place that are like this. Um, they just have different stuff in them. This is uh, the the jellyfish cave, or like the jelly shroom cave. I don't forget what it's called. Anyway, uh, there's these kind of snake-like things that kind of go in and out of the, the shrooms here. If we actually go closer to one. Don't be one, don't be one, don't be one. You can actually kind of go inside here. It's kind of cool. And, uh, it's kind of chill, you know? And that's where those, uh, snakes go. So, weird stuff. There's also, like, remnants of bases that, uh, your team has set up around the area. Mm, not good stuff. Where the fuck is the beacon at? God damn it. I keep getting fucking turned around here. Here we go. Over here. I'm not sure if those things are hostile or not. They have came up my uh, my mini sub a couple of times, but I've never actually gotten close enough for one to attack me. Um, that mostly because it is hardcore, and if I do get attacked, um, I don't know how much damage I'm gonna be able to sustain before I die. Also, I don't know how the fuck I escaped from that Reaper Leviathan on my little my little fucking glade slide, or the fuck is it called? It's just crazy as shit. All right. Go ahead and turn on my exterior lights. Let's go ahead and take a look at, uh... Go to the Grand Reef. Then I can show you guys the, uh, the prawn suit. So the prawn suit, uh... It's basically your all-utility vehicle type thing. Um, whereas, basically, the, the, the Cyclops, which is your submarine here, it's gonna be your kinda... your mom van. I, I heard someone refer to it as an 18-wheeler. Those are the sand sharks. See them just kind of spitting up all that sand when they came up. Yeah. Anyway, it's kind of like an 18-wheeler. Drive it as such. That being said, uh, like, uh, it has, like, a long back on it. So you need to be careful and mindful of that, or else you're going to, like, ground out and all that kind of stuff. 
So, uh, go over this way. Do, 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 do. We're gonna go ahead and descend here now. So this is where I, I found another Reaper Leviathan. Fuck you. These things here, I don't know what they're called, but they, um, they're not cool. They teleport around, they actually teleport you out of your vehicles and try to kill you. Um, which sucks. But fuck them. See, they just teleport away. I don't know what the fuck they are, but I don't like them. Let's find a good place to drop down the prawn suit. Up, 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 up. I think I hit something. Also, I think that's a huge deep crevice. I don't want to drop it down there. Rotate around a little bit here. I think right here wouldn't be a bad spot. Let's gain some altitude and uh, get our cargo bay over that area. Perfect. Engine off. All right. Also, sealing these bulkheads doesn't really do anything. I've never taken on enough water to where it does that, but, uh... Prawn suit's seal should be a lot closer than this. Well, I don't know why it got damaged. Bop! Okay. A lot farther from the fucking ship than I thought it was going to be down. Damn it. So there's a, uh, a wreck here from the Aurora. Just parts scattered all over, like I said. I've got this, uh, this grabbing arm on the right, which it comes standard with. On the left side, i got a drill, which is used to uh, mine uh, ore deposits, which hopefully we can find one. I can actually kind of show you that. Be good up there, Saren. But yeah, your, uh, your grab arm can grab uh, materials from the uh, area. You can also use, use to punch the shit out of stuff, which is nice. Um, you can also just hurt things with the drill arm as well, but uh, no matter for that. There's also these uh, volcanic vents that are around that you can actually build a thermal generator next to, which is kind of cool. And it'll uh, generate your power. I actually kind of want to build a base over here just for that. Also to kind of like a base away from stuff. Or deposits. Hmm. Let's, uh. We're going this way. I don't want to go deeper. Oh, there was one. So, this is a copper deposit right here. Do we just start uh, drilling? And after a while, it'll start breaking this part up and it'll start just depositing stuff directly into the prawn storage here. So, uh. Yeah, there's a couple different attachments for the prawn suit. Um, these are the only ones that I have right now. Like I said, the hands come custom or come standard, you have to find and research the drill arm. There's also a grappling arm, a torpedo arm, and a photon. I think it's called photon? It's, it's kind of like a gravity gun type thing. But yeah, if you just keep uh, drilling, you'll eventually harvest all the copper here. And we got it. Cool. So if we actually hop out of the, uh, the prawn suit here, we can go ahead and repair it, first of all. But we can also check the storage here. So as you can see, plenty of stuff. I'm just going to take it out, put it in my suit. That way it's, uh, it's empty, don't have to do that later. We can go ahead and back in it. It also comes with a small jump jet. See the purple bar there going down while I'm using it, just so I can kind of jump up is good. There's also uh, b -b 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 like modifications you can put on it. That, uh, here's a little beacon. Hey, beacon buddy! Yeah, there's little modifications you can add to it that uh, will increase your jump jet capabilities. That'll uh, increase the pull. You kind of saw what I was showing you guys before. Here's a, a quartz deposit. We can go ahead and mine. So, yeah, all kinds of stuff to do. All kinds of resources to harvest. It is a uh, Interesting game. It definitely piques my interest for survival games. Because you actually gotta survive. 
because <laughs> underwater, there's no safety. But yeah. My main goal right now, I want to get more of the attachments for the prawn suit here. Namely the uh, the grappling arm. I also want to get a torpedo arm and a... Uh, I think that's all I want. Yeah, I just want those. Once I have those, I can uh, start exploring a little more aggressively. I don't know how much the uh, the prawn suit will be defended with a torpedo arm against the fucking Reaper Leviathan. So that's still a concern. But if I can at least have something to kind of like get rid of it if necessary, it'd be uh, pretty great. So to get back into it via Cyclops, basically I just use my jump jets. Get up near here, turn around, and kind of like the, uh, it's called a moon pool, that other thing that we had, that'll, uh, let you in and out of the, uh, that ship that I had before in my base. But yeah, we can, uh, interface with the, uh, inventory right directly from here, so we don't have to go through the back. But yeah, so we just kind of went ahead and did all that stuff, so that's cool. All right, well, that is about all. Still got a fucking crack in my goddamn shield here. Windshield. But yeah, very interesting things all around. Um, there is more biome. There are more biomes, I should say, than what I showed you guys here. There's more interesting stuff as well. There's uh, ancient structures and kind of stuff like that which you can explore. And um, yeah, it kind of gives you an interesting thing here. It's also kind of a... Uh, an interesting, the lore for why you guys got shot, why your ship got shot down is pretty cool too. I think that's an interesting thing. And also kind of explains why you're still you know, here and what you gotta do, so. But once you find out why your ship got shot down, it makes a whole lot more sense what you have to do in the game. So, yeah. We yeah, have all kinds of different fish species around here. Different biomes, like I said. Um, there's land that you can go off onto and harvest, you know, land stuff from. Um, yeah, I just kind of want to see what the developers do after this, because it's, really, it's been released now. It wasn't early access before, I think, or something like that, but I'm pleased with how it goes right now. Um, I just want to see more, more stuff, more base building stuff, or more, like, crazy things, you know? More biomes would be cool. More exploration in general, I suppose, would be an interesting. More stuff to explore with less threat of dying to a fucking giant leviathan. That'd be nice. Yeah. Like, I'm not even sure if torpedoes would be effective against a leviathan. I've not tried it out yet. I don't want to try it out, because if I do have to try it out and fails, I'm dead. I'm going to have to restart all over again. But, um, I have killed other fish. Like the sharks, I've use my knife on and just slaughter the hell out of them. Um, but I've never fought any of the bigger, bigger opponents, so I'm not sure if a torpedo would, like, dissuade them from attacking you, or if it would actually kill them if you hit them with it. So, I don't know. There's also gas torpedoes. Which uh, just release an oxygen gas. There's stasis rifles, which you can use to uh, put stuff in stasis, I guess. But there's no real other weapons than that, so... Yeah, it'd be kind of interesting to uh, see what happens. Because you're just a research vessel. You weren't like a uh, a military vessel or anything like that. So your your goal was basically to, I think, habitate a new planet or something? But not this planet. Like they had stuff for a different planet, but not this one. Uh, it just so happens that our stuff kind of uh, helps us out here. Because the prawn suit is good for sea and land. Which is... Uh, Important factor. Do I need, don't have any water on here, damn it. Fucking door, get out of my way. I'm gonna go ahead and just take all this stuff that I can right now. Still gotta unload a bunch of stuff in my fucking lockers down here. We just look at them, just look look at all this. Look at all of it. Look at all of it. The metal salvage can be turned into titanium. Also a bunch of gold right there. I hit up a, a couple gore, gore, a couple ore nodes of Oh, there's that fucking shark fish. So watch him, watch him. He's gonna just bury himself in the sand. 
and he just comes out. Fucking dick. Anyway. Anyway. So yeah. The prawn pseudo is good for land, sea, all that good stuff. Um, kind of a good all-around machine, you know? I need a fucking place to put these before I fucking die. That's full. Damn it. Gold and silver aren't full, right? Yeah, perfect. Okay, let's just dump it. Seek fluid intake I'm gonna start to fucking die if I don't get my, uh, my water here. Ah, oh, perfect. Okay. Calm down, fluid things. But yeah, the last thing I want to show you guys is just the prawn suit posters that I got. So this is where I had docked my prawn suit before I got the Cyclops. But yeah, prawn suit, Mach 3. It's uh, rising above the competition. Shows it on land here. There's also this one over here, which is a uh, dive deep. Prawn suit, Mach 3. Shows it underwater. Yeah, it's kind of a cool thing, so. Yeah. It's kind of interesting. But yeah, there's plenty of stuff to do. Plenty of things to build. You can, you know, build your own base. The main thing that got me into it was I kept watching people build their bases, and it annoyed me how they were building their bases, because I was like, why don't you just do this or this or this? And it's like, god damn it, you fucking dipshits. Just build your bases. Better. Motherfucker, listen, come here. You motherfucker, son of a... Get over here. You can't just bite me and run away. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah, you're dead now. You want some too? You want some too? Huh, motherfucker? Huh? Huh? Are hey, you dead now, motherfucker? What did you get for your fucking biting, you motherfuckers? Yeah. Shit on. Anyway. <laughs> Fun times. But yeah, so I got a lot of expanding to do. Probably some more exploring to do, because I've only touched upon certain areas. I haven't gotten too far out to the outer reaches. And there's still... Uh, plenty of caves that I haven't gotten into either. So... I got a lot of stuff to see still. So yeah, if you thought this game was interesting, pick it up on Steam. It's only like 25 bucks, I think. Which is not bad for, you know, what's going on. I mean, since I've already put 16 hours into it, it's pretty much already worth my time. So, yeah. Anyway, that's been all for me, guys. I'm gonna <laughs> add another fucking storage place back this way um, with some stuff and then we'll go ahead and uh, move some stuff but that's my plan for the next couple minutes here so until next time everyone I will catch you all later bye now